Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the locators and test project. So locators plays a very important role in any of the automation tool and in test project, we have three different categories of the locators. So we are going to discuss all the locators one by one. So we are going to talk about locators when you're working with web applications, locators when you're dealing with iOS application and locators with Android application. So let's get started with the locators part. So I'm going to select this particular project that we have recorded so far for our project and I'm going to open a elements tab. So the moment you click on any element, you can see we have add element feature. The moment you click on add element, it is asking you for which platform you need. Do you need for iOS? Do you need for Android or do you need for web? So let me show you for web. Same thing will remain same for other platform as well. So let's say I'm going to select any, let's say for login button, I need any locator. So I will say login button and uh, you can give description type, which kind of element it is, whether it's an image, whether it's a button, whether it's an input field, it can be anything. So let's say I'm going to use image. Okay. So the moment you click on image, it is asking which locator you want to use for this particular image. So right now you can see we have all these locators. We have ID, we have name, class name, tag name, XPath, CSS, link text, and partial link text. This is the exactly same locators which we have seen for Selenium. Same is available for test project as well. You can select any locator and you just need to provide the value and you can reuse it. Now if you go for iOS, the moment you click here for iOS, you can also see we have the same locators available. Plus we will also find additional locators which is accessibility id ios ui automation id and name and text field the moment you click on android for android you can see we have all these locators id class name tag name xpath now for android we have android ui automator and accessibility id as well and if you see the type you can select which kind of category you have so you can select what kind of category you want to use whether it's a view whether it's a button whether it's a checkbox whether it's a date picker so you can select these from the drop down as well so for android we have so many different kind of type which you can use and the same you can use for web as well so for web you can see we have like abbreviation access key address we have Know, anchor tag we have article b tag audio tag there's so many tags available which you can use directly so this is the tag and this is the actual values which you can use it directly so let me show you how you can use this while running your test and how you can also evaluate whether this particular locator is valid or not so in order to showcase i'm going to create a new test and i'm going to create a web test I'm going to click on next and this time I will give the test name as locator demo. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to select any web application. So I will select the web application which we have designed so far. We have taken CRM multiple times. So let's take the same CRM application and it is asking which kind of test you want. Do you want to record the test, edit the test or blank test? I'm going to record the test and I'm going to uh, click on start testing. It will uh, load the fresh instance of Chrome and it will also start the recorder part so you can see right now this application loaded right now it is coming in a different language that's fine so if you want to see the locator part you can see this is the text box so i will press double shift from the keyboard and this element will be freeze what you need to do you just need to click on this you can see this kind of option called attributes so let me click on attributes and let me go to this particular options so you can see we have xpath we have name we have id we have type so let me show you these are the locators which has automatically picked by test project and if you want to cross verify you can see here one option called open in the element locator the moment you click here you can see it is asking again the type and the value so right now the type is xpath and this is the value the moment you click on evaluate you can see this particular element is highlighted now let's say I want to use some other locator, let's say name and the name also is same for this particular web element. I'm going to copy paste same and again I will click on evaluate. It is also matching. If you want to also verify with ID, 
luckily id is also same for this particular web element so the moment you press test username and evaluate you can see it is highlighting so this is just three locators but apart from this you can use all the locators which we have right we can use link text partial link text all the locators just give the value and you can easily evaluate so let's assume for this particular link i want to find the locator the moment i press double shift again these options are coming so again if i go ahead and see for this particular x path the moment i click on this element locator this is the x path which is evaluated and the moment i click on evaluate okay it is evaluating but it is hidden by this particular element locator so let me put this on the left hand side and you can see it is evaluating so you can use again name id css link text partial link text here as well now if you want to do the same thing for mobile you just need to connect the devices and you can also use the same locators part for mobile devices as well so this is just a very quick video how you can use the locators okay if you are recording the test or if you are writing the test from the scratch you can use this uh, element locator which is very promising so let me show you another way so let's say if i delete these additional steps which i don't need i can delete them i can also delete this particular step see the locators part so what i will do i will enter username and password so let me enter admin and let me enter admin123 so again if you come back here you will see one option called find okay the moment you click on find option you can see it is matching in the background so these are the quick options available in test project if you want to cross verify whether this particular locator is valid or not else you can change this and you can give any other locators other value and you can directly evaluate it's one of the very interesting feature which i found in test project and you can also use it okay you can directly find this option as well from element locator i hope you enjoyed the session if yes then hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye